Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Upgrade or Trash IT. And in this video, I've got the Dell Latitude E7240 and I'm going to walk you through how to install, sorry, how to install Chrome OS Flex on it. So I've got the copy of Chrome OS Flex on a USB stick, which is already plugged into the computer. I'm going to turn the laptop on, press F12 to get the one-time boot menu. And then going to select the USB storage under Legacy Boot, and off we go. Now, previously, when I tried to install Chrome OS Flex on this laptop using a copy using um, a SanDisk USB stick, the USB stick actually was corrupted and the installation failed. And then I've since looked up and actually SanDisk USBs for, um, for the OS Flex installers are a bit of a no-no. So stay away from them, get another um, brand of USB stick. I've, I've, I'm using Integral which are really good and really cheap. Okay, so let's start the installation. I'm gonna press get started. I'm gonna install Chrome OS Flex. I'm not just gonna run it from the USB stick. Okay. These are the warnings about my hard drive will be white. I'll pause the video so you just don't have to be bored watching a spinning circle. Okay, so the Wi-Fi is connected smoothly. I'm going to accept Google's um, terms and conditions. I'm going to set it up for me. Okay, I'm just going to sign into the Chromebook now. Okay, so then I've got, the, it's asking me to verify on my phone that Um, I'm trying to log into a Chromebook. So I'm going to sync because I've got Chromebooks and I've got an Android phone as well. I'm going to accept more conditions. Okay, and I'm going to agree to all the voice assistant stuff because I use it a lot anyway. And then I'm going to just choose, um, just choose the theme. So there we go. You can see that it started, and um, yeah, I can probably get a live. Let me just go to the BBC. I'm getting a live web page. So I make that total install time about eight minutes. So that's all it takes to install. Chrome OS Flex on to a Latitude E7240. So here we go. Let's get rid of this error message in valid partition table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine off. I'm going to turn it on again. I'm going to press the F2 button. to go into the setup menu. And then in the setup menu, I want the, first of all, I want the boot sequence option. And I'm gonna to go to change it from legacy to UEFI. 
and then I want to go into the advanced boot options and I want to uncheck enable legacy option ROMs. Okay, now I'm going to go to the bottom and do apply and then I'm just going to check that, that it's applied it properly and then I'm going to do exit and then it should restart itself and hopefully it will just go straight into loading OS Flex. There we go. That's the invalid partition table error solved. Just to complete this video about Chrome OS Flex on the E7240, I just want to look at um, the compatibility issues and to see about if all the different hardware that's on the laptop is compatible with Chrome OS, Chrome OS Flex. Now, Google, this is one of the, the Chrome OS Flex certified laptops. Uh, Google guarantee that everything works on it with no issues. So if we're here, we obviously know, you can see from the screen, the resolution is working beautifully. We know that it's connected to the Wi-Fi, so the Wi-Fi is working. We can also see here from clicking here that the Bluetooth is also, it's picked up the Bluetooth and that's working really well as well. Other things to note is we don't have, you don't have to activate, unlike Windows, for Chrome OS Flex, you don't need to activate anything. You just create a Google account and then sign in as part of that and then you're good to go. And the other thing is that on the E7240, OS Flex will be will keep automatically updating every month or so until 2026. So you've got another kind of three or four years of kind of guaranteed safety as the operating system um, updates itself against security threats and things like that. And then finally, for those of us in the in the UK, just you can see here when I click on the bottom right, it brings up the kind of like a mini settings menu. The keyboard is still set to the US and I'm going to change that to the UK. Now, that's a real issue because of the, of the position of the at, at sign. If you're trying to use the at sign and normally the at sign on the UK keyboard is on the bottom right above the comma. Whereas on a US keyboard, the at sign is above the number two. So it's confusing if you're using trying to find the at sign and your the keyboard that it's set to on OS Flex is wrong. So that's how you change it.